It's one of the biggest nights of the entire football season and almost everyone in Kingston Stadium is focused on winning. But trainers and team doctors are constantly watching for something else, signs of a concussion. Headache, nausea, vomiting, uh, confusion. Dr. Rob Bratzik in the Mercy Emergency Room says today's report highlights one life-saving point. It says parents, athletes, and coaches need to do a better job of documenting head injuries over time in all sports. Oh. That way they can determine if an athlete is risking their life when they walk back on the field. If you have a concussion before you've healed from a prior concussion, that can cause uh, edema or swelling of the brain. It can be life-threatening. Doctors say documenting that history of brain injuries is complicated because kids and sometimes even parents won't tell the truth. It can be a hard life. Former football player and boxer Rob Bleakley says he knows firsthand concussions have a cumulative effect and athletes will absolutely lie to keep playing. Who wants to sit out a game? What do you do then? What can you do? They're going to they're gonna do what they got to do to be on the field. And there's not much you can do.